Titus, tell them what the first thing. First, the wall was fixed in the first place. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Why? You got to tell them. Oh. You, tell them. You said, remember, you said, you tell them what the world was like. It was what? Fixed. Say it loud. It was fixed. Everything was good, right? And. And what happened? And. <laughs> what happened? And. All right, all right, all right, all right, tell them the next part. So, the world was bad. So they tried to use something to fix themselves. They all tried right. to use money. All right, try to use money. All right. Thank y'all. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, tell them, John, tell them, John. Uh, tell them. They tried to use what to fix themselves? Uh, other people. Other people. They use other people, all right? Like relationships, all right? Yeah. Good job, good job. All right, what's the next thing people try to use? They try to, they try to use church. They try to go to church. They even try to go to church to fix church. themselves, like yeah. religion. Yeah. All right? All right. All right. Now tell them the blame test real quick. Take them to the blame test. I right, thank y'all, man. Y'all so, so kind, man. Y'all so kind. <laughs> B, B stands for what? B stands for Remember blasphemy? Blasphemy. Also, uh, Help out, for. Help them out, Fire. Lie. Lie. All right, A stands for? Idolatry. Idolatry, all right. M stands for? Murder. M stands for murder. And? E stands, e stands? A. E stands for, uh? Exalt. Exalt. S stands for what? Steel. All right, steel, we're <laughs> good, all right. All right, so let me just sum it up for you guys. Good job, guys. So basically, man, uh, the world was designed to be perfect. Y'all remember the story Adam and Eve? Yeah. You remember what they did that messed everything up? Yeah, they sin, right? Yeah. So a good definition of sin is what, Barry? What's a good definition of sin? Jesus came to the world. Now, what's a good definition of sin? Is when what? I. When I do what I want to do instead of what? Instead of what Jesus tell me to do. All right, well, all right. And now our world is completely like messed up. Messed up. Yep. So people try to fix it by using like one of these four R's. I call it relationships. You ever wanted something? You want? You ever wanted like somebody to, like to make you feel better? And they, they made you feel good for a while, and then they just they turned on you. They didn't really it didn't really pan out. Yeah, exactly. So people use riches, man. You got that stimulus check. It was good for a while until what? <laughs> so that so people use a uh, relationship. They they use a uh, religion. They go to church and stuff like that. But on Monday through Saturday, they still doing the same person, right? But man, I really got serious about following Jesus, man. I, runs was something I used to numb my pain for a while until what? It's over. <laughs> Or right, somebody, some people smoke weed. It makes you feel good for a second. Drink. Some people commit suicide because they're trying to escape the pain, but it never fixes you, man. They're using God's name. You ever said O M G or I put that on O M G? L stands for lying. Can you keep up how many lies you told in your life? I can't keep up mine either. All right. A stands for adultery. Jesus said if you just look to lust after someone, you're an adulterer. You ever looked at lust to have sex out of marriage? I know. stands for murder. Have you ever been angry with somebody? The Bible says if you, because all murder starts where? E stands for exalt. That's the, have you ever prayed only when what? Yeah. All right. And then you got S stands for steal. Have you ever uh, stolen anything? <laughs> all right. You, have you ever, have you ever cheated on the test and stole answers? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not judging you guys, man, but I, you, we all are. Are in the same boat. We're all sinners, man. We blasphemers, liars, and mur adulterers, murderers, thieves, and we have to face a holy God on the day of judgment. So if you died in your brokenness, where do you think you're gonna spend eternity? If God is good, it just lets you escape. If you ever try to pay a judge off and he, he took your money, what kind of judge would he be if he took your money? Dirty judge. Dirty judge. See, God on the day of judgment, God is a good judge. He can't just let you escape. He must punish sin. You know what the punishment for sin is? It's hell. Well, here's the good news. All right. So tell them about the good news. I'm gonna let you give them some Bibles. All right. Tell them about the good news. The good news is like Jesus did come through was to fix it. The bad news is say sin for our sinners. All right. All right. So Jesus came into the world 2,000 years ago. He knew we we were not gonna be able to keep the standard. So instead of him punishing us, he punished his son, and he's paid the debt for our sin. If a man would do two things. If a man would do two things, God will completely wipe the debt clean. You have any idea what those two things are? Pray and ask for forgiveness. All right, that's the first part. You got the first part right. You have any idea what the other one is? They always ask God to say, God, I'm sorry, but they never really change. They never really want to change. They just sorry because they got caught. Are they suffering from what? Guilt. 
the guilt or the consequences of it. So a lot of people are gonna stand before God and say, God, I'm sorry, but they never really want to change. They just wanted, they just wanted the pain to go away. But the other thing is, is to believe and make Jesus the, lo the Lord of your life. Accept him. Accept him, yeah. Let him control your life. So repent and believe that he's the boss. And if you'll do that, the Bible says God will wipe the debt clean. He'll start a relationship with you. He'll give you heaven as a free gift. See, a lot of people want to go to heaven. They just don't really want to follow Jesus. They want his stuff. If you ever had somebody that only wanted you because you was cool and when you didn't have, they didn't want you? Well, a lot of people want to go to heaven. They want Jesus' stuff, but they really don't want him. <laughs> that makes sense. Heaven is a person, not a place. If you get Jesus, you automatically get what comes with him. And if you repent and believe, God will start a relationship with you, not just a religion. It'll change the way you think, change your whole desires. Man, that's what happened to me, man. I heard this message, my whole life changed. It's like I was a different person. So, man, y'all got any questions for me at all about what the meaning of Easter is and why Jesus rose from the dead? Is it more clear now? Oh, no. It's a, it had to get a little refreshing on it. It's refreshing. Man. We do it, but you know what I'm saying? It's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. So, what do you guys think y'all going to do right now? If this red light says, man, I'm, I'm, thank you, man, I'm, I'm good. I don't really want to follow Jesus right now. Yellow light says, let me think about it and I'm going to get back with you. Red light, green light says, man, I need to repent and I need to follow Jesus, like, even right now. I always go green. You, you want to go, you, you go green? Got to go green. Really? Yeah. Why, why, why you say that? Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Absolutely. What, what y'all think? Where y'all feel like y'all at? I feel like I'm green, too. Seriously? Yeah. Well, Three remember green. like I said, the Bible says, oh, what you say, Var? Three green. Three green. So the Bible says to repent. Just tell God, like, God, I'm sorry. I want a relationship with you, not just a religion. I'm tired of my sin. I'm tired <laughs> of living my life the way I'm living it. I want to put my faith totally in you. And if you do that, the Bible says God will wipe the dead clean. And I pray right now. Yeah. Is it cool? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, man, now, it's going to sound weird, but I'm going to let you guys, you guys just tell God how you feel. And uh, we got some Bibles for you guys, too, man. Just put just put them at their feet, you know. Put them at their feet, and then uh, they'll, they'll just get them when they leave, okay? Did Thanks, you get a Bible? <laughs> Thanks, brother. Get a Bible? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, y'all just tell God how you feel. You don't have to be all loud. You just be to yourself. Come on, bro. You know, man, y'all just tell God exactly how you feel, man. Just like, I'm, I recognize I'm a sinner. And I know I need a relationship with you, not just a religion. I recognize you sent Jesus to pay my, my debt, and I, I, I choose to follow you. Something like that. That's good. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. All right. These guys would uh, take their relationship with you serious. Father, help help us as a church. Help us. Take those Bibles, man. Y'all can have those Bibles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all take those, man. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play my man here.